Hey guys, this is Donna Jones for Spotlight TV, and I'm so excited to have this week's guest. And um, I'm so sorry, but apologize for saying your name wrong. Evenia Evgeny Visky. Um, so excited to have you here. Now, let's just first talk about your initial start in your career. When you initially started your career, you started as a filmmaker as a teenager, then won first prize for the documentary, um, which led to you going to the International Film Festival. What was that beginning? like for you? You know, it's amazing. It's a, it's a dream for a young kid who grows in Russia and who kind of trying to do his first steps. And you know what? At this time, we not have this fascinating technology that allows right. us uh, these days to do miracles. Mm -hmm. uh, by this time, it was uh, 16 millimeters, 35 millimeters. You needed to process the film. You needed to splice it in a car. It, it was different period, but it was amazing to be recognized yeah. by the professionals and being selected to go to the festival because you know what, it's different period in Russia and uh, a lot of things are kind of uh, different by these times. So being 16 year old kid, achieving something, it's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Now you've done so much, you've done music videos, film, television, um, theater. Do you have a favorite? Movies. movies. Movies, they're telling stories mm -hmm. and they're changing lives. And you know what? I guess uh, when you're creating the movie, yeah. you're creating a sculpture. And when you're creating a sculpture, sculpture lives after you. Because when you're that directing stage, you literally live this moment with the actors. Uh, mm -hmm. Audience living this moment with them. And then slowly, slowly, it's gone. Right. The movies, it's same forever. like you. It's, uh, you're creating this show, yeah. and in different medium, even 10 years after, your audience, your new audience, will be watching this and re-watching this. So with whatever we're filming, right. we're able to kind of ca capture, document this, and create something that will be living after us. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So let's get to Winter on Fire. Let's get it. Now, this was just nominated for an Oscar this is basically, it, it depicts the Ukraine's fight for freedom and the documentary would ha happen between 2013 and 2014, mm -hmm. which is so recent. It began as a student demonstration and led to an uprising and a revolution for the freedom. What made you, I mean, was this hard to tell? What made you do this? You know what, uh, of course it was hard to tell. You are on the front lines, yes. uh, you are under the bullets, and you are under the police batons, you are literally under the tear gas or cold water. In, in the much colder weather than what oh we have God. right now here, you know what, this is not cold. I, Through I the winter that I was experiencing, yes. it was cold. Oh my so, you know what, one of my friends called me and I literally went there from the beginning and uh, I was anticipating to be only two weeks because you know what, it was the festival, it was amazing energy, vibe, people yeah. were kind of happy trying to get attention from the government and at the same time to bring their ideas, their will, what they wanted to achieve right. in their future, they wanted to be European Union. Right. So it was different vibe and nobody was expecting to be beaten and all over the sudden, spontaneous, four o'clock in the morning, Theory of November, you know what? We're finding ourselves in all this bloody mess, running from the square, getting beaten by the police, wow. police sticks uh, over our heads. You know what? It's kind of all over the sudden to realize that you are in the middle of uh, civil Europe, finding yourself in this kind of situation. Right. The police who's supposed to protect you, it's, it's completely, that, yes. you know what? It's completely uh, unimaginable. And then, you know what? You're finding yourself in another miracle. Church, who usually kind of on the side of the government, opening the doors yes. and you know what and giving a shelter to the younger kids to the youth and it's amazing for me it's like a miracle because you know what they not said oh you not belongs to our church or you are not believes in the god but you know what they open doors to everybody that is unusual in our days but it's wow. a beautiful act and it showed that together when you unite as one what you can accomplish Absolutely. as a people when you have one common goal and that's what stood out to me everything that they went through I sat there and I, I watched this and, and I was just so moved and I was like really on the verge of tears and I just couldn't believe that something like this is happening not 10 years ago or 20 years ago three years ago I two mean years two, ago. two years ago this is 
for something like this to happen, and not and for one, they were saying that it didn't get a lot of coverage. You know, it wasn't the forefront of, of news and, and, and radio or anything. It was something that no one really talked about. That's why I found myself, you know what, in the middle of this world history where you have amazing human stories and you want to bring these human yeah. stories behind the headlines. Absolutely. And you know what, you're absolutely right. This fascinating unity blew my mind from the beginning. I found myself united with them. I found myself in the middle of this big family where wow. everybody is equal. We're talking about diversity here. We're talking about United States of America. We called United States of America. Are we united? You know how many times mm -hmm. I was asked by young people who are watching the movie, are we united? And they're lost because there is no answer to this question. And they've been united. They've been united young and old, right. all nationalities together respecting each other. All these social demographics and social classes been there, rich and poor, all together. We're not seeing this in our days, something like this. Absolutely. Same time, church and the people. All different, uh, let's say, clearance, all different uh, churches together came to the square to support the cause and united with the people. This was fascinating just to observe, right. nevertheless, to be with them. You know what? to have their spirit around you. It was fascinating. The blood was streaming, you know what? Nobody was thinking even about wow. that the bullets are flying because people were united. It's, you know what? It's something that we, as the Americans, need probably to learn. And you know what? For me, it was also amazing because this is for what our founding fathers of the United States stood for. Absolutely. For the unity, for the democracy, for the freedom that we are right now living. And I guess for our younger generation right coming now. Coming up, absolutely. When did you know you had to tell this story? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's so many things that come across. When did you know, like, this is something you had to do? I guess uh, you mean when I decided yes. to make a movie and yes. realize that there is a movie. Yes. You know what? In the second this bloody situation happens when we were beaten in the middle of the night and then next day you have all these millions of people coming out to the streets you're finding yourself that you are in the middle of the world's history and you want to tell the story Absolutely. and then the events progressing so spontaneously you're finding yourself in a situation as a filmmaker from the other world and i came from the united states as outsider mm -hmm. a, despite that i've been in the region before i find in myself that I want to tell this story and I need to tell this story because they're fascinating people. That is absolutely amazing. You know, bravo to you because you, you did something that I don't think a lot of people could have done. You're, you were there and you captured a moment, like you said, in history that will become history. So this is a Netflix original documentary and it's nominated for an Oscar. What does that mean to you, that phrase, nominated for an Oscar? It's recognition by the top professionals of the industry. It's yeah. recognition for hard job that was done by amazing big crew. It's recognition for the value that I bring in to the world, for the amazing story that can inspire future, yeah. future generation right. and change lives. And at the same time, it allows for bigger exposure to the movie, kind of to evaluate importance of the story. Right. So I guess the, it's more something symbolic for me, mm -hmm. those combination, because it allows me to deliver story to the bigger audience, mm -hmm. to allow, to expose this to the bigger audience. And even right now, Netflix brings this to 190 countries wow. that across the globe that is amazing. You know, but it's a dream for every filmmaker right. to have something like this. But it's important for me that not only it's brought to these homes, it's emphasized on the highest professional level that is extraordinary work, hard work. Absolutely. It's love of labor. It's labor of love. Right. And in the same time, it's done from the heart. Right. And it's done on the top of professional uh, level. Absolutely. As a director, do you think you see things differently than other people? Because to tell a story, you know, you have to have, I don't know, maybe a different view of the world that maybe everybody do doesn't have. You need to be objective and you need to have kind of imagination. <laughs> definitely. Not everybody has that because that's definitely a big part of, you know, what's, what's the, I guess what another question is, you being a director, what's something else that you really, you pull from when you start a project? Uh, you know, A, 
I need to be connected to my characters, and I guess in that situation I did it because yeah. I connected and they trusted me. Yeah. Because otherwise, I not been able to tell their story. So Absolutely. I've been connected to them. They entrusted me, and I've been able to tell the story through their eyes, through their journey. Uh, second, I guess I. If Every picture have beginning, middle, and end. When you're doing a scripted feature, you have a script. Here, I not have the script. So I obligated to go with the flow. I obligated to kind of document the history as it's go, as mm -hmm. it's progressing. And I didn't know what's happening next. So I was kind of uh, growing my crew. I ended with 28 filmmakers who've been capturing together wow. with me these events. We've all been on the front lines. We've all been documenting this history as it on wow. a go. And you know what, every second was so important to us. So I guess, uh, you know what, organizing skills, yeah. networking skills, and the vision. And definitely the vision. Congratulations Thank on you. everything that you have done and everything you will do. And I can't wait to see what you do next. Um, and everyone, you've got to make sure you go and watch this movie. This is one of the best documentaries I've seen. And this message is a message that has to be told and has to get out. So make sure you check out this movie, Winter on Fire. It's a Netflix original movie, and it'll also be in theaters nationwide near you.